Hi everybody, I'm Paxash and welcome back to Paxash Plays City Quest. Let's see what Koharu wants. I think I've got a plan that will get us out of this mess. Have you ever read Romeo and Juliet? Yes, of course I can read. Who told you I couldn't? Alright, anyway, at the end of the story, Romeo and Juliet both die, and stricken with regret at what their feud had wrought, the Capulets and Montagues made peace. That's not quite what happened. <laughs> Do not like where this is going. Well, if we stage our own suicides and invite both parties to witness, they may put aside their differences and agree to coexist peacefully. If they don't, then the war we're trying to avoid goes on anyway. My father is a good man. I think if he sees what I've been driven to, he'll lay down arms. I can only hope that the Mafia boss will do the same. You do look an awful lot like his son. <laughs> oh. Too much coke. We need to write a convincing suicide note. It needs to clearly outline our reasoning star-crossed lovers driven to death by this war. <sighs> I guess I'll go with it. Let's write the letter. Why don't you write the letter? I'll help. He just, like, scribbles nonsense. Suicide hijinks help Koharu write your suicide note by clicking on the words you'd like her to use. End this war with a heart-wrenching, blame-placing, quali- guiltifying note. Sick abs. Toilet. Pump Dugley's with? Wow. Awkward flirting. Pants. <laughs> Budget capo, mega capo. I like destruction, though. Destruction's a good word. Let's go with died, because the other two are stupid. To Oya Moon and Dawn of this great city, in your lust for sick abs, you have turned this city into a toilet. You have used, abused, and bumped uglies with those you care, mo care for most. Time and again put them in peril. The awkward flirting between your clans so permeates your pants that you have given us no option. Our love cannot, our love cannot live while you are so bent on destruction, nor can we ourselves. Learn from our deaths. Make peace. Let us not seem to have died in vain. Alright, pretty convincing note, I must say. It almost makes me believe that we're really lovers. Almost makes me believe I can read. Totally gonna buy that. Good work. You too. Right, so where should we do this? Oh, I know, there's a theater in Midtown Park. It may be a bit dramatic, but that may be what we need to sell it. Need you to head over to the apothecary down the street and pick up a few things that make a sleeping draught. My grandmother taught me a bit about... Campo medicine when I was young. I'm rusty, but I think I could do well enough to fool them for a bit. Uh, Sage leaf, concentrated kamomiru, and hongfangji. Hongfangji, not guangfangji. I don't know if I pronounced any of that right, and if I didn't, I'm sorry. Let's tell him Soreha Kaz Kazukuno Tamani, and he'll understand. The family has an arrangement with him. Ah. Okay. Good thing I found this one earlier. You're not a cop, are you? <laughs> what the Why? What can I do for you? S Sagey leaf. Was known as Sage coming right up. Is that true? Like Sage is known as Sagey Leaf? That's not a thing. Oh, you probably mean Kamomiro Chamomile. Concentrate. Huh? I'm not going to ask what this is for, and that's why you're getting great help review. you. Okay. Hanfangji. Alright, I think I've got some of that around here. You said you're not a cop, right? Right, wait, no, she definitely said Guangfangji. Ah, fuck. Idiot. Jesus Christ. Secrets favors riddles cash, though I prefer cash. 
Oh, he could pronounce that correctly. Got the Oves Kohara needs to create her sleeping draw and head back to her when you're ready. So, so are we actually gonna die? Is that how this one ends? Uh-huh. Well, set to making the draw, the last thing you need to do is go back to the dawn, tell them the Yakuza we've gathered at the park, and that it would be perfect for an ambush. I'll make sure my father is there. Three hours or so should do the trick. That should be enough time for both sides to gather their forces. Meet me there just before and we can take the draught. Okay. Plan is almost ready to move forward. Kohara requested that you tip off the boss to the meeting location while she ensure her father is there. Sigh. Okay. This driver must be getting really irritated by now. I'm like, God damn it again! Okay, I'm back. Back through the totally not suspicious laundromat. As always. <sighs> okay, come on. Ah! Go. Go. So close to finishing this storyline, just let me finish it. You discover what the Yakuza is planning? Um, sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you. I know how we can crush them. Good, good. Hear that, boss? Alright, what's the plan? They're having some sort of gathering in the park today. What? What is that? That's not useful. When are they planning to attack? When do you expect us to do? The park is all public and whatnot. That's some bad business right there. Just have to trust me, this is our only chance. Trust you, kid, I hear you've done some good work for us, but come on, this would smell fishy even coming from a capo, and you're fresh blood. Monumental display of effort. With these gurgles of few human sounding words. I trust him. Reminds something that may be a bilge, but might also be crying for help from deep within. My son, do you help do it? Well, it's your call, boss. Alright, kid, I guess we're calling in the troops for an assault. How much time do we have? Okay. Hear the boss's faith. Hope the boss's faith in you is not misplaced. See you on the other side, pal. Thing is set. All that's left in this crazy plan is to head to the theater in the park. Yay. Maybe I can finish this storyline and finally move on. <laughs> We're going again, buddy. All right. Come on. There you go. Still not. Where the fuck? There we go. Hello. Is it time to die now? So, is it time? Have you tipped off the Mafia? <laughs> right, that's what I was doing. Should be here shortly. Last chance. Are you ready for this? Yeah, sure. She smiles at you, then pulls out a small vial. Okay, here goes nothing. Well, it tasted fine. Here, I only drank half. The rest is yours. Hmm, something about this, this flavor isn't quite right. Yeah, I feel funny. Not sleepy funny. My throat. Her eyes grew large. Guangfangji. Yeah, Guangfangji was not right. Oh, you sweet, sweet idiot. No, that wasn't right. Well. <laughs> Just gonna lay down here. It'll be fine. Why? Who's responsible for this? It must be an ambush! Give up! <laughs> Is he like dragging himself? 
Oh, Jesus, terrifying. <laughs> we would not surrender. Not to, especially not to the likes of a bloated landwell like yourself. Just gonna hang out back here away from the shooting. Hmm. Oh, looks like Job of the Dawn wins, huh? Holy crap, Oya Boon. Fucking badass. <laughs> well, it appears I win. Please tell us exactly what happened here. Think carefully about your next words. Um. Sure. You say this is all of them? You were in both? And you say you're the only one left, so you're in charge? You deaf pig? I said I rule the city! <laughs> yeah. It's about the reaction. Hmm. So it goes, a long-standing feud between few, two families ends in utter ruin. The innocent and the guilty both counted amongst the dead. Finally, you, the sole survivor, apparently devoid of subtlety, met the same fate. Who knows, though? Maybe you'll be a zombie in the sequel. Shit, how do I... I don't remember if there was a way I could skip this. Okay. So, we want to go back. Sort of replay this out again. Bop, bop, bop. Uh -huh. Oh, good. Cool. You're gonna hide again, we... To watch this stupid scene again. And then watch Oya Boon be a fucking badass again. God, he's disgusting. how many shots were fired and hardly anything really happened. Okay. Now let's see. The alternate ending. You really look like you do. This was building for a while. It was bound to happen eventually. It looks like you were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, pretty much. We're gonna have to take a statement, being that you're the only witness, but if everything checks out, you'll be free to grow. Thanks, officer. <laughs> wow. What are you doing? Sorry, officer. Just a cough. Little ways down the road. That is a fashion disaster. <laughs> My god, I don't have a face. The aftermath of the great battle, the few surviving members of the Yakuza Mafia fled the city. All except for one. Being the only remaining member of both factions, our hero stepped up as the head of both families. Sure, he may rule over no one, but we're not going to take this away from him. Will he be a fair and just ruler? Only time will tell. The answer is no. Okay. So that was the Mafia route. 
So next time, I think I'm going to try the politician route. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.